And guys, look who I found. I found some silver hair treasure. <laughs> hey, Calvin, it's been a while. How are you doing? Thank you. Very good. Thanks. So we are here at the Canadian Gaming Summit. And as one of the pioneers, if not the pioneer of the online gaming industry, as we all know, I would like to know your thoughts on the future of the Canadian provincial monopolies in the online gaming sector. What can you say about those? I don't see how they can go wrong. I mean, they've got an unregulated monopoly. And uh, by definition, monopolies are hard to screw up. But uh, by definition also, monopolies are also not the best at delivering product to consumers. So I think the industry itself is in, it's going to be strong. It's good to know. So Bitcoin is becoming huge in the world. And it's slowly being integrated in the online gaming space. A lot of online gaming companies, actually gambling companies in the world, have already integrated that in their businesses. So I'm interested to know, what do you think is the role of gambling regulators like BCLC, right, um, in this Bitcoin-driven online gaming sector? I think that by definition, the trustless nature of Bitcoin and blockchains, but the Bitcoin blockchain specifically, the role of regulators is going to be decreased. They're going to become less relevant. There will always be a role for regulators. Mm -hmm. But I think that uh, as Bitcoin slowly eats the online gaming industry globally, there's going to be less and less need for regulators, and I think that will happen here. But uh, just to correct the record, uh, BC Lottery Corporation is actually an operator, not a regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, they are an unregulated operator, from my view of the world. Regulation is something that actually should be put in place here in BC. In terms of economic impact, gaming in Canada has contributed like 16 billion revenues here. And it has employed 130,000 employees. And it's, it's really good in the ears when you think about it that way. But in terms of laws, it's still unclear in a lot of gray areas. So if you'll be given the power to change the situation and improve the online gaming sector here in Canada, what do you think you should do? Wow, what a question. Yes, the, the sector is big and yes, it does contribute uh, contribute into the general taxes of uh, the governments here. But governments need to decide when they create a gaming industry whether they're doing it for their interests or for the interests of the consumers. I think that you look at all industries globally and it's very consistent that government monopolies just do not deliver value to consumers. So I think if the question is, is how can the industry deliver value to consumers, then clearly they have to put proper third-party regulators in place and who would then regulate their company as well and then open it up to competition from the private sector. Those are two things I would immediately do if I was in charge because from my perspective it's about the consumer It's and uh, I, I believe that if it was done properly the tax base would still be there because the private operators would be paying taxes. So I don't think you need monopolies. Very insightful. Thank you so much, Calvin, for your time. You. And this is Stephanie, and this is Calvinair for calvinair.com. Calvin